East Kentucky Rail fan back with another video. Got a special one for you here today as I'm chasing a heritage duo down the Big Sandy, the Pittsburgh and Lake Erie, freshly released from Wake Cross Shops, and a newly repainted Chesapeake and Ohio after some vandalism repairs were done at the paint booth as well. Chasing M692 today as it makes its way from Wake Cross, Georgia to Russell, Kentucky. We'll pick the train up here in Elkhorn City, Kentucky, as it comes off the Kingsport sub and onto the Big Sandy subdivision. This is the location where the former Chesapeake and Ohio interchanged with the former Clinchfield Railroad. If you enjoyed the content, please hit that like button down below. Leave me a comment. All those interactions help with the channel. If you enjoy this video, check out another one and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Here comes our train, and this one will focus on the power mainly. I'll include the whole train in the last shot. second shot of the video is at Draffin, Kentucky, the site of a derailment a couple years ago that sent two locomotives over the embankment and one ending in the river. Now I'm at the east end of the Shelby Yard. The train will pull in here for a crew change. The Kingsport crew will switch out with the Shelby crew and they'll take it on to Russell. Thank <laughs> you. 
as the crew stopped to line switches and change locations. This is the heart of the Shelby Yard now as the train rounds the curve. This heritage duo brought several rough ends out to catch the action, including the legendary Everett Young, who's been shooting trains on this line since the 1960s. He's a living history lesson of railroading in the area, and it was an honor to get to talk to him today. Pittsburgh and Lake Erie was a railroad chartered in 1875 with trackage from Youngstown, Ohio to Fairmont, West Virginia. The railroad was known as the Little Giant for the amount of gross tons it carried compared to the track mileage that the line had. It served mainly the steel mills of the greater Pittsburgh area, hauling almost exclusively coal, coke, and iron ore for that industry. Now obviously a part of CSX, the company honors the Pittsburgh and Lake Erie with this specialty painted heritage locomotive, the 1875. There is another video on the channel exclusively about that Chesapeake and Ohio unit that I did when they first released it. So if you're interested in more information on the CNO, check that one out. Looks like the crew has dropped one of the engines and they're ready to head out. So let's go down to Ford's Branch to catch that engine and train leaving. Unfortunately, this would be the last shot we'd get in daylight.
Now I plan for this to be my last shot, but it just so happens this heritage duo came back the very next day on M693, the eastbound version of that same train, this time with the P and LE leading. I was only able to get it once here at Dawkins, Kentucky, as it came right at the edge of dark. But this will be the last shot of the video. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, please hit that like button down below, leave me a comment, and catch another video if you have time. I'll be back soon with more. Until then, have a great day.